The company that brought you Google Glass, the Google self-driving car, some of the craziest science fiction things that you can possibly imagine is focused on counting strawberries. And here's why. For the last decade or so, Google X has been designed to sort of go for these uh, so-called moonshot projects. Many of these things have not panned out. But there have been a few successes. What's happened over the years is that Google X has gone to being much more uh, pedestrian, but also real businesses. And I think that's where Project Mineral comes in. Mineral is working on a project to basically bring robotics and machine learning and computer vision, but to the world of agriculture. They're building these things called rovers, which are semi-autonomous, remote-controlled robots. When it drives over these crop rows, it's taking pictures, and those pictures are then being fed into these very sophisticated machine learning algorithms. You know, how many strawberries does this plant have? How many leaves does it have? How tall is it? What species is it? And it's trying to use that data to help farmers say, you know, with some certainty, which plants are doing well and which ones aren't. So the end goal here is one is to create a business that, that generates revenue where they are able to sell machine learning and the robotics expertise that they have to agriculture companies. Beyond that, I think the goal is to do farming better and, and in particular to help farmers do more with less. And when you talk to people at X, what they say is, you know, climate change is increasingly a huge part of their work. And you can see the, the, the possible impact here. If farmers are able to, you know, develop better plants that can deal with rising temperatures, if they're able to use less water, less fertilizer, that could have a significant climate impact and it could, you know, allow us to live better lives.